Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about addition and subtraction with the sign two's complement data in computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course. Here the figure one shows the hardware implementation required for performing addition and subtraction operations with signed tools complement data. First, I am explaining each and every component in the hardware implementation. After that, how to perform the addition and subtraction operations. In this hardware implementation, first AC register. Suppose we want to perform addition or a subtraction operation, we require two numbers. The first number is stored in AC register and the second number is stored in BR register. Next one, complementer and parallel adder is used for performing the addition and subtraction operations by using full adder circuits. Next one, this is overflow flip-flop. This overflow flip-flop can be used for storing the output carry bit after performing the addition and subtraction operation. This is the each and every component explanation in the hardware implementation. Now, how this hardware implementation can works as adder, how this hardware implementation can works as subtractor. Here we have to use mode control input. The, by using that mode control input, we have to perform addition and subtraction operations. When M value is equal to 0, this hardware implementation can works as adder. When M value is equal to 1, this hardware implementation can work as subtractor. So, by using that mode control input, we have to perform both addition and subtraction in operations. If M value is equal to 0, we have to perform the addition operation. When M value is equal to 1, we have to perform the subtraction operation. First, I am taking the addition operation. Addition operation. To perform the addition operation, first the mode control input M value can be taken as 0. Next, to perform the addition operation, we require two numbers. The first number is stored in AC register and the second number is stored in BR register. Now, the mode control input can be taken as input carry bit. That input carry bit value is equal to 0. Input carry bit value is equal to 0. Next one, the content of AC register is uh, transferred to the complementer and the parallel adder. Next, the content of BR register can be transferred to the complementer and the parallel adder. Now, the parallel adder can perform the addition operation between AC and BR, uh, BR registers. Now, we have to perform the addition operation between the content of AC register and the BR register and the input carry value is equal to 0. After performing the addition operation, whatever the result we are getting, that result is again transferred to the AC register. Okay, here the AC register can be used for two purposes. The first number can be stored in AC register and the final result after performing the addition operation between the content of AC register and BR register, 
the result is also stored in AC register. After performing the addition operation, if any output carry is generated, that output carry bit can be transferred to the overflow flip-flop that is V. Okay. While performing addition operation, there is no requirement of complementer. Next. So, AC plus BR and the input carry value is equal to 0. After performing the addition operation between the content of AC register and BR register, the result is stored into the AC register. If any output carry is generated, that can be transferred to the overflow flip-flop, that is V. Next, how to perform the subtraction operation? So, to perform the uh, subtraction operation, we require two numbers. Okay, the first number is stored in AC register and the second number is stored in BR register and M value, mode control input M value can be taken as 1. The M value 1 can be sent as input carry bit while performing the subtraction operation. Okay, so input carry bit value is equal to 1 that can be sent it to the complementer and parallel adder. Next, to perform the subtraction operation, the content of AC register can be transferred to the complementer and the parallel adder. Now, next, the content of BR register can be transferred to the complementer first. The complementer is used for complementing the content of BR register. After that, that can be transferred to the parallel adder. So, now the parallel adder can contain the content of AC register and the complement of BR register and the input carry bit value is equal to 1. Okay. So, this is nothing but AC minus BR. Okay. So, AC minus BR can be obtained by taking the two's complement of BR. One's complement of BR is BR bar. After that, we are adding 1. AC minus BR can be written as AC plus BR bar plus 1. Okay. So, AC minus BR can be written as AC plus Two's complement of B. Two's complement of B. Two's complement of B is nothing but one's complement of B that is BR bar plus one. Okay. AC plus BR bar plus one can be written as AC minus BR. Okay. Now we have to, after performing the subtraction operation, whatever the result we are getting that result can be transferred to the AC register. Okay. Here we have to perform the subtraction operation. From the content of AC register, we have to subtract the content of BR register. This subtraction operation can be converted into addition operation by taking AC plus 2's complement of BR. How to find out the two's complement of BR? One's complement of BR plus one. One's complement of BR is nothing but BR bar. After that, we are adding one. Okay. This subtraction operation can be converted into addition operation because subtraction operation cost is more when compared to the addition operation. Because of that reason, subtraction operation can be converted as addition operation. AC minus BR can be replaced as AC plus 2's complement of BR. 
Two's complement of Br is nothing but one's complement of Br is nothing but Br bar. After that, we are adding one. So, after performing this uh, subtraction operation, the final result is stored in AC register. If any output carry is generated, that output carry bit can be transferred to the overflow flip flop that is B. While performing the subtraction operation, we have to use two's complement. At that time, we have to use the complementer. If a, uh, in two's complement, if any output carry is generated, that output carry bit is ignored. Okay. While performing the subtraction operation, if any output carry is generated, that output carry bit can be transferred to B. But in the two's complement subtraction, if any output carry is generated, that carry bit can be discarded. In this way, we have to perform the addition and the subtraction operation by using mode control input within a single hardware implementation. Now, we can go for the algorithm for algorithm and the flowchart for performing addition and a subtraction with two's complement data. Okay, next, first we can go for addition operation. To perform the addition operation, we require two numbers. For example, I am taking two plus three. Okay, here two can be called as first number and three can be called as second number. Okay, the first number 2 can be called as agent. The second number 3 can be called as add-in. So, agent bits can be stored in the accumulator. Add-in bits can be stored in the BR register. Here, we have to take the binary form of 2. We have to take the binary form of 3. Okay. That agent bits can be stored in the accumulator register and the addend bits can be stored in the BR register. Okay. Once, once we are getting the two numbers from the accumulator and BR register, we have to use the parallel adder to perform the addition operation between the content of AC register and the BR register. So, the content of AC is transferred to the complementer and the parallel adder. The content of BR register is transferred to the complementer and parallel adder. Here, we have to perform the addition operation between the content of AC and the BR and the final result is stored in the AC register. So, AC plus BR, whatever the result we are getting, that result is a transfer to the AC register. After performing the addition operation, if any output carry is generated, that output carry bit can be transferred to V. So, that here the carry bit can be called, output carry bit can be called as overflow bit. That overflow bit can be transferred to the clip flop B. Now, here we have to end the addition operation by using this hardware implementation. Next, how to perform the subtraction operation? To perform the subtraction operation, we require two numbers, that is 4 and 3. The first number 4 can be called as minute that is stored in accumulator register. The second number 3 can be called as subtrahend that is stored in BR register. Okay, so minute is stored in AC register that is 4. Subtrahend is stored in BR register that is 3. Next. The content of AC register can be transferred to the complementer and parallel adder. Next one, 
the content of br register can be transferred to the complementer we are getting br bar after that we are adding one so we are getting br bar plus one that can be transferred to the parallel adder here in the complementer we have to perform the two's complement operation two's complement operation can be performed by taking one's complement of operation plus one okay the content of br register can be transferred to the complementer here we have to take the two's complement of br register that is a one's complement of br register is br bar after that we are adding one now the result can uh, the complementer result can be transferred to the parallel adder so the parallel adder can take the input of ac register that is ac and the parallel adder take the two's complement of br register that is br bar plus 1 so after performing the addition operation the result is stored in the ac register here we have to actually we have to perform the subtraction operation that subtraction operation can be converted as addition operation after performing that whatever the result we are getting that result can be transferred to the ac register and if any output carry is generated that output carry bit can be called as overflow bit that can be transferred to b while performing the subtraction operation using two's complement if any output carry is generated the carry bit can be discarded so that v contains the value zero next we have to end the process in this way we have to perform the addition operation and the subtraction operation within a single hardware implementation okay so output carry bit can also be called as overflow bit that can be stored in a flip-flop called v v can be called as overflow flip-flop that can store only one bit of information so this is the description about addition and subtraction with signed tools complement data i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel so devbel srinivasara after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel for better understanding of computer architecture or computer organization course go to this channel go to the playlist called computer organization or computer architecture watch these videos and understanding the entire course videos can be forwarded to your friends and classmates thank you thank you one and all for watching this video